Bom dia, Portugal gang. To the bime. This is mission creep on the uh, proposal for digital passport and identity card for travelers within the EU. Let's check it out. He's good, he's good. He's good, he's good. Wicked. It's Portuguese good. All right, before we get started, I noticed that many of you who enjoy my content still haven't gotten around to subscribing. It costs you nothing to subscribe, but it really, really helps me out. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go on, smash it. And if you don't... That's ignorant. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so over the past couple of weeks, I've made a, a couple of videos regarding uh, the new sort of march towards digital IDs that's happening in the EU and uh, somehow being led by uh, Portugal and Spain, for example, who are already setting up um, digital ID uh, biometric checks at um, ports of entry. And we've already spoken about how it doesn't seem like this is really going to solve any problem um, regarding illegal immigration. Illegal immigrants tend not to use the official ports of entry. So uh, it's really got everyone uh, quite nervous, including me, obviously. And um, it looks as though there's going to be... Um, some more proposals happening within the EU that I'm going to speak to you guys about today. And I want to also talk about this in the context that a lot of countries in the EU at the moment are reinstating uh, border checks, again, ostensibly for our security, right, to uh, control the flow of, um, you know, illegal immigrants and and uh, would be terrorists and that kind of thing. Um, and of course, the same thing applies, you know, criminals, terrorists, illegal immigrants aren't using the official border controls. So are they really just hoping to um, scare us into, um, you know, agreeing with and using these digital IDs? And um, yeah, basically our movement um, is going to end up being controlled in this way. But anyway, let's have a look at the story and we'll see what you guys think. All right. And this story comes to us courtesy of uh, Lusa and the Portugal News. So EC proposal for digital passport and identity card for travellers. Uh, the European Commission has proposed the digitalization of passports and identity documents, such as the citizen card and the creation of an EU digital travel app for travellers in the Schengen area. Okay. So according to a press release, the EU executive proposes a common framework for the use of digital travel credentials and an EU digital travel app so that travellers can create and store their documents. The digital passports and identity cards will include the data stored in the chips of the physical documents, such as the holder's photograph, but not the fingerprints, and can be saved on a mobile phone. Um, and this is something that I saw, um, as a lot of you guys who um, are regular to the channel will know that I lived in Hong Kong for many, many years before I came to Portugal. And we traveled extensively in China. And in China now, all of your ID and documents are on your mobile phone now. And uh, I don't need to tell you guys what the obvious risk is um, with um, that. The app will allow travelers. Oh, hang on. Uh, it will be completely voluntary for travellers to request or use this digital version of their documents at no cost. Just going to go a little bit further before I come back to that, because I know you're already thinking, yeah, right, voluntary for now. Uh, the app will allow travellers to create digital travel credentials using their passports or in the case of EU citizens, their identity documents and to present their travel plans and documents to border authorities in advance, reducing waiting times at border crossings as most checks will be completed in advance. Right now here, um, the, the devil is in the detail, isn't it? So first of all, voluntary, but for how long? Um, so uh, this will um, reduce waiting times at border crossings. So um, it, you, you can imagine it would be very easy for, to just take, for example, I'm going to give you an analogy, guys, and see what I'm thinking about. We all know that a lot of supermarkets have introduced these self-checkouts and I'm going to go on a limb here and imagine that most of uh, the people who watch my channel are also the type of people who don't like to use self-checkouts. Um, but take, for example, in my town, uh, we've got a supermarket called Pingo Dose and they introduced um, self-checkout. And they also seem to have reduced the number of staff on physical checkouts. So what it seems to do is, is um, you could think, right, well, I don't want to use the self-checkout. I'm going to go queue. But it seems like they're going to make you suffer and queue for a very long time. So I have to admit, occasionally I've gone, you know, bollocks to this and I've gone and used the uh, self-checkout. I'm not proud of it. 
And um, but it is what it is. And I think that's what they're probably planning to do at the border checks. And again, the devil's in the detail. The so in the case of EU citizens, their identity documents to present their travel plans and documents to border authorities. What borders are we talking about? So this is what worries me. We do know that there's some um, border checks have been reinstated within the EU. You know, what's happening to the freedom of movement. Um, and so I think that what's going to happen is slowly but surely. Um, obviously, the border authorities aren't going to know who's an EU citizen. So there, there are going to be EU citizens and EU residents who are going to be having their identity checked at these borders. And it is going to take a long time if you haven't you know, done the right thing, the voluntary thing and um gone for the digital id so this is this is what i think is uh, happening guys yeah and obviously um the sheeple are just going to be they're just going to jump right on board with this they're going to be like yeah well it's just going to make my life easier it's going to make us all safer what are you complaining about if you've got nothing to hide why don't you go for it we know how this goes guys the sheeple will be uh on board right away no questions asked um you know and thinking again about this present their travel plans and documents to border authorities in advance, in advance. Oh, what if I don't want to submit my uh, travel plans in advance? What if I decide I want to go travel today? That was supposed to be the freedom of um, being in the EU in particular, wasn't it? Uh, the app will be available, available to all EU and non-EU citizens with a biometric passport or EU identity card traveling to or from the Schengen area of free movement. Currently, these checks are carried out physically at the border crossing point. According to Brussels, with almost 600 million crossings recorded in 2023 alone, there is a need to speed up border checks and ensure easier travel while maintaining a high level of security and ensuring that all travelers are checked. So remember, guys, it's for your benefit. It's to speed up border checks for you and it's to increase security for you, apparently, apparently. The proposals will have to be approved by the Council of the EU and the European Parliament in co-legislation and are expected to come into force from 2030. And as I say, guys, devil in the detail, we've gone from voluntary to um, coming into force by 2030. 2030, wow, that's the future, isn't it? But just remember, it's already nearly the end of 2025. The future comes at you hard, guys. So we're talking uh, five years from now all right so guys as i say in the context of um some eu countries already reinstating some um border border checks um this seems uh, more sinister than ever and uh it's definitely a, a quite a, a step further <laughs> than um the uh the digital id proposals that i spoke about in my previous uh video so yeah it's obvious that um they're moving forward with this as quickly as possible and uh yeah uh, lots of this kind of mission creep and uh this kind of gaslighting that you know this this sort of gaslighting where they're talking about well it's just to improve um the speed um, of transit through border crossings you know it's for our security it's for our safety it's for our convenience um yeah i think uh you don't have to be a genius to understand that criminals and illegal um aliens are not using the official ports of entry so yeah i think they're lying to us but what do you think? What do you think? Um, please let me know in the uh, comment section what you think of this uh, form of mission creep. Do you agree with me that it's a it's a form of mission creep? Um, are you going to try and avoid uh, giving up your biometrics? I mean, I'm not really sure what we're going to do if we want to move around or perhaps we're going to have to, um, you know, next time I visit the UK, I might have to get myself onto a raft and uh, paddle over. That seems to be the way. Might not even have to pay for my accommodation when I get there. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you like this type of content and you're new around here, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me out. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao.